No, it's a situation which um, the government is developing the property now. Okay. Uh, we'll be investing about 30 million US dollars to start. Mm -hmm. And we have the land, we own the land, the land is um, valued at 30 million US. So 60 million in value for first phase. And um, we may make it a CIP approved project too, in which even um, individuals who are <coughs> seeking to make an investment on the CIP can also purchase um, units there. Okay. But evidently, uh, those individuals will pay the full commercial market value, but <coughs> antigens can come in um, at the construction phase at cost. So we create an opportunity for them. And their property too will also be CIP approved. Mm. So if, for example, that you want to buy a condominium within um, the development that you want to sell on the CIP for twice the amount, mm -hmm. there's that opportunity. So in other words, you don't need to stay and you can back out your capital. Uh, we're not worried about that because the room is already built. <laughs> and so it will form part of the, the hotel pool and um, or the room stock for that matter. Uh, so, you know, this is a type of... Um, you know, investment um, opportunity that we're creating um, for people. And again, we are also reducing the risk. The fact too that the government would have had as much as 60 million US dollars in equity, you know, it is actually reducing the risk. For so you're those. calling that the public-private partnership? That's yeah. what you refer to when you say public partnership. It is, it is, but not in the sense of owning shares. And the reason why we haven't gone the route of owning shares is because there's a risk aversion when it comes to share ownership or maybe a lack of um, financial sophistication. So what do we find? The person will invest in the real estate. But as I made a point before, they will not invest in shares in a company that owns all the real estate. But they will, you know... Uh, in a single property. In a single property, they'll buy as it. A, as opposed to the entire... Generally complex. speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm but I'm but, the same but having said that, I did say too that those who may want to invest, and these, these will have to be large investments. They anchor it. We will anchor it, yes. Okay. But so I'm saying, if there are Antiguans who want to invest sizable sums, I mean, we, this is not a kind of project in which you want to have a thousand small investors. Mm -hmm. If you can get maybe about probably 20 Four. investors who can put in maybe a million or two apiece, certainly we'll welcome that. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying here, I have found that historically that has been a challenge. Mm -hmm. However, if you ask a person to buy a property within the development, they'll buy it. So we're given the option. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you, and, and you'll, you'll welcome partnerships through the CIP component? Well, it'll be a CIP approved project. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, that um, you acquire a property there. Mm -hmm. You can sell it. You can sell it on the CIP. Let's say, for example, you spend 300,000 US and you're selling it um, for six, 700,000 US on the CIP. That's fine. So it's not a partnership. No, it's, I, it, it, it's a commercial proposition. Yeah, but to the question, I, I don't think the PM understand what I'm asking. So what if I w was able to get someone to purchase a property or two under the CIP component? You'd mm -hmm. accept, we'd accept that as well. But that's exactly what I said. I said. By making a CIP approved mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Got you.